everybody, I'm here at the beginning of the trail, so you can kind of take a look at where I'm at right now. I've just come off of Foothill Road, and I'm getting a start down the trail at this point. As you can see here, I've arrived at the first plant. This is the giant wild rye. It's actually pretty big. The other thing you'll notice about this, if you take a close look, it has parallel leaf venation, indicating that it is a monocot. All right, so this is the second area that I'm gonna mark. You can see that there's kind of a spreading out of ice plant in here, which is one of our invasives. If I take a look up the hill, just from here, I can also see some fennel. So this fennel is another one of the invasives along with mustard. You might see some of that around with some yellow flowers on that. And there may be a few others that we'll take a look for while we're here. So here I can see another invasive you're probably familiar with. This is Russian thistle, sometimes referred to as tumbleweed. And you can kind of see that it has very particular looking stems on it with some kind of green and red mixed in there together with lines going through it. So the trunks of these trees is a good place to see some of the signs of the Thomas fire. Of course, much of this has regrown. Uh, but the trees still bear the marks of that and we can see this on both sides of the park. So hi everybody, I'm catching a little bit of shade here underneath the coast live oaks. So you can see some of that on both sides of the trail and you just kind of walk underneath this area here. So those are some of the oaks we have. All right, so I've had my first sighting of poison oak right here. You can see the leaves in a bunch of three there. The redness on them is pretty typical. There's some more up here, sitting here underneath this coast live oak. They do tend to like the sides of trails. They can have a mix of sun and shade, but generally aren't in completely open areas. I'll go ahead and tag this one as well. So here I am, I'm overlooking kind of a gathering dining area and you can see some palm trees in the distance. That's gonna be my target. That's a good place to maybe find some fence lizards as well as to find some of the acorn woodpeckers flying around. Well, it looks like I found some California fuchsia. It's one of the few plants that's in bloom. And if I take a look at this area, I can kind of tell that the sun is on up above. And so I've got this protection from the sun by this hillside. That does mean that there are gonna be a few green plants over here. I can even see some vine. It looks like we've got maybe some morning glory that's coming up through this. So this might be a good area to have some plants that maybe aren't looking really, really dead. You'll see if I just go a little bit around the trail to where we get some more sun exposure, we start to see what I think was probably sticky monkey flower that looks mostly just like stick at this point. So here we can see the long tubes of these flowers on the California fuchsia. And I just want you to kind of think about, hey, what, what might pollinate something with a long, deep tube like that? So I'm here at another crossroads. I'm going to actually get to some asphalt in just a moment. You can kind of see where I get to that right up there. But I'm overlooking a little bit of a wash. And obviously we're getting a bit more vegetation in there because of the water that flows through there. And we can see here a tree tobacco. You can see those yellow tubular flowers that it has on it. I'll see if I can get in a little bit closer. And so this is another one of our invasives that we have here. There should be some other stuff in here. So hopefully I'll come down in here and find some castor bean. So you should be able to see the acorn woodpecker here. It's sitting on the drinking fountain. There's another one up in the tree just over by those stairs. Now this isn't normally where I will see them, but they're always in this general area. You can see that there is a parking lot here and some bathrooms. And if you take a look, those are the big palm trees where we tend to find the acorn woodpeckers most of the time. Okay, so here I am at the base of the palm trees where the acorn woodpeckers are. And you can kind of see that I can see some birds down on the ground here. Obviously there's some good shade. For the most part, these are gonna be California towhees and you might see some scurrying across the parking lot or something like that. These birds tend to like to spend a lot of time on the ground. But if you do hang about and you take a look upwards, 
you might eventually find some acorn woodpeckers up there and you're quite likely in this case to hear them hammering on the trees as they try to get in there um, just got to hang out for a little while and make that happen if you haven't yet seen any fence lizards by this point you might want to take a look along these blocks on the side that's usually a good place to go find them as long as it's not too hot or too cold although they might also be underneath the palm trees you can see here there's a lot of cracks to hide in so they're going to like to do that and they may run away from you and be difficult to catch Okay, so I captured a young fence lizard over here by the garbage cans. It was trying to eat some of the flies that were walking along the wood there. So maybe that's a place that you might want to look. I'm going to try to take a look at the cloaca of this individual. And you can kind of see that my fingers are hiding and I'm having a little bit of trouble getting focus there. Uh, but the cloaca is the common urogenital opening. And if you were to look just behind that cloaca, you would either see a couple of enlarged scales, kind of maybe reminiscent of testes, indicating it's a male. If it lacks those, it is a female. This one happens to look like a female. Of course, it is a young one. And I'm going to go ahead and return that here so that it can go ahead and spend some time hanging out here by the garbage where there maybe there is some nice food. So that's a western fence lizard, Scloperus occidentalis. So I'm going to finish the hike by heading from the trees there where the woodpeckers are up through this yellow gate here. And you can see that we have some more oaks in this region here. I've seen some scrub jays flying through this. But I'm just going to kind of take a walk up this valley and see if there are any species that I haven't seen yet. Of course, I do expect under here to see towhees, scrub jays, and maybe some squirrels as well as I walk through a nice shaded area. I certainly did find a lot more tree tobacco up in this valley. So just past that tree tobacco, you can see we're back right here by that. I found some nice California sagebrush. You can walk off and kind of take a smell of this. So I'll leave a flag here, just pinch off a little bit and rub it between your fingers. Okay, so just up here a little bit past the tree tobacco and the California sagebrush, I found some Datura or Jimson weed.